McKelvey. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, it's a pleasure for, to have the opportunity to speak briefly on on this uh, bill, a most important bill. And uh, um, in my time in public life, I've seen uh, three goes at reforming this uh, uh, sector of our, uh, our very valuable sector of our community. And uh, and I congratulate the minister on getting there on the third go uh, that I've seen. Um, but just wanted, I just want to uh, quantify, I guess, the significance of this uh, this part of our um, community to an electorate like mine. I have some 26 volunteer fire brigade, brigades, which include over 500 volunteers, and that's just in the Rangitiki electorate. So that's pretty significant. We have three defence force brigades, six council rural fire brigades, uh, and those are supplemented by a couple of full-time fire brigades out of Palmerston or fire service. Um, uh, stations out of Palmerston North. It's a very significant sector of our community. It's a community that for a long time has operated in different manners in different parts of New Zealand. And, and I think this is a very good initiative to try and standardise this around New Zealand. Uh, and, and I think it will make quite a difference to, way, to the way the, our service operates, it will particularly make a difference to the way our volunteers operate. In the early part of this uh, latest reform, as uh, was the case with the previous two that failed to get off the ground, there was a lot of nervousness amongst our volunteers and amongst uh, many in the fire service about how this might work. Uh, I think it's been largely overcome as the, as the bill's gone through the process in the House, and I, and I think that the, um, the sector has, by and large, accepted the changes, and, and I think they will be successful. So, so the. The fire service or our, our volunteer fire brigades particularly have seen a massive change in the way they operate in the last um, 30 or 40 years, where originally they were set up as fire um, brigades. They've now become the first responders to almost everything that goes on in our community. And some of the things they have to deal with are pretty significant and pretty difficult. And, and I think that they should be congratulated on the work they do in our communities. I think the minister should be congratulated on uh, getting this bill to the post. Uh, as with any uh, legislative change, there's always some nervousness around how it will play out. There's always some uh, teething problems, but I'm sure this will get uh, wide acceptance in our community, and I'm sure it will be successful. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The next call is a, a split call. Uh, Denise Roach, five minutes.